When you hear the name Seattle, you probably think of the Space Needle, Pike Place Market, and other iconic spots around the Emerald City. But did you know that just 20 minutes away, there is a rising tech town that is closer to the crown jewel of the Pacific Northwest, the Great Outdoors? Join us for an overnight stay in the heart of downtown Bellevue as we explore what this city has to offer and spend a day out on the trail in nearby mountains. We find ourselves in the Hyatt in Bellevue, which, funny enough, is about five miles from where we live. We are here because we're doing a little hotel stay, and it's one of the first sort of city stays that we've done since the pandemic started, what, six, seven months ago. We have a junior suite, and as you can see, it looks pretty cool. And the lake. The same lake we live on, by the way, but we just happen to live on a different shore of it. Yeah, right out there. It's a really nice fall color around it. So we've got a desk here, which is really great for work travel, which unfortunately we aren't doing right now, but when we were doing work travel, this was very essential. You've got a couch. We have actually a separate bedroom with a closing door, which is really nice. It's a nice mood lighting too, I like that. This is bigger than some people's actual living spaces. Oh yeah. <laughs> Plenty of my coworkers have been stuck in a much smaller space for a year by now. Oh, bummer. Very, very sad. And there's downtown Seattle, by the way. So that's how far away we are from Seattle or how close, however you want to put it. And it is a really good idea to do staycations because hotels are starting to open up in downtown Bellevue, downtown Seattle. You can choose between the two about which one you want to do your staycation at, but it can be like a nice little getaway if you've been trapped at home throughout this whole pandemic. So we're gonna spend the night in downtown Bellevue and then we're gonna go out and explore tomorrow and show you how close Bellevue is to a lot of outdoor activities. So we're on the 31st floor of Lincoln Tower, Lincoln Square South, uh, one of the big towers in downtown Bellevue. And I actually did a lot of the photos for this restaurant back in the day when it first opened, but I haven't actually been in here as a customer. So it's really nice to sit down and get a full dining experience. So we're just here for happy hour, getting some small bites to eat. And here's what we got. So these are fries coated in nori or dried seaweed. Mmm, it's so good. I like a little taste of truffle on it too. some breakfast spread in front of us so we're really excited we're here at the hotel restaurant Ekis or Eki Ekis we both have salmon and egg dishes we've got like a poached egg on toast and what do you have I have a salmon benedict with some cucumber tomato salad we also have the chef special which is red velvet pancakes that's right, this feels good. We used to do this a lot before. We're trying to regain our lifestyle. It's one of the best breakfasts I think I've had in a long time. <laughs> and it could very well be because I've been having to make my own, but we have a combination of flavors. So good. It sure is nice to have someone cook mm -hmm. for us again. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. just left the Hyatt in downtown Bellevue and it's gotten really cold. It's super cold, it definitely feels like winter. Uh, it's gonna make our hike pretty interesting today, but at least it's not raining. That's right, we're heading straight for the mountains and I don't have enough clothing. So luckily we're right across the street from the Bellevue Mall, which is probably the best one in the Seattle Metro. And here we are on the corner here and the mall is right across the street from the Hyatt. So the location is great. interesting to see the mall in this time to see how people are coping. It's a big contrast to the malls in downtown Seattle which are completely abandoned and empty. This mall you know does have a few empty retailers but for the most part they're still going pretty strong. Yeah and there's even a line where we're going at Uniqlo. We 
left the hotel, we got our warm clothes and we're off to the mountains which are very close to Bellevue which is a really nice part about staying here. Well, there are quite a few trails within the downtown area that you could either walk to or drive within a few minutes. We're going to go a little bit further out to show you one of the most popular hiking trails out here. Seattle is actually on the sea but it's also very close to the alpine mountains that we have here called the Cascades and when you're in Bellevue like we are you are right at the slopes of them really it's only like 20 miles till you hit the mountains and another 20 and you're in the mountain pass and that's where you can ski and do all the alpine hiking mm -hmm. so easily distracted by furry animals. We are at the Franklin Falls Trail up in the Cascades, only 40 minutes away from Bellevue where we just took off from. Maybe not even 40, maybe like half an hour. Yeah, yeah, it's really close. Uh, nicely paved road, huge parking lot. This should actually be a really flat and easy trail, suitable for, you know, all ages. Definitely glad I stopped to get my face layer from Uniqlo, it's doing the job. Oh, look, we're almost matching. Oh, yeah! You just have the more feminine shade. that melted is already flooding everything here so many creeks it looks cool yeah. judging by the sound of it we're approaching not only the sound but i think i can see it it looks big Relatively easy, fairly close to Seattle and Bellevue. You could easily do it as a half day hike. Yeah, lots of children were there, it's that easy. And it was really nice. And it's kind of cool with the snow and the fall color, mm -hmm. a lot of little creeks forming. Yep, definitely wear uh, hiking shoes or shoes that you don't mind getting a little muddy because it is pretty wet on the trail, but not terribly hard. Definitely worth doing. <music> driving through the east side of the Seattle metro and it's really mostly located around two lakes Washington and Sammamish so we're now along the shores of Lake Sammamish and it's a really nice area where a lot of people that work for Microsoft choose to live and there are some really nice homes on the lake in a forested environment and now we're gonna enjoy what we can do on this side as well which is um, go to a winery Let's go. 
Gold Chateau Saint Michel, and it's uh, the biggest winery in the Seattle area. It definitely models a French chateau, which is properly situated here in Woodenville because it's one of the traditionally farming areas. So it has this country vibe, and they made a big winery. Looks like a very large wine selection here around me, so I'm gonna look around a bit. I'm a big fan of the local wines in Washington, so I'm going to check out, see what they have. This area definitely specializes in what they call the full body reds, and that's my favorite thing to buy when I'm here. The Pundit, I like the sound of that, and I like owls, so I'll get this one. I got the wine. I would love to stay and enjoy, but it's really cold. And I can't drink wine, so... Yeah. <laughs> be drinking by yourself. That's true, and it's still a little dangerous being around crowds. Though, it's kind of spaced out here. It's a nice it's place. Yeah. Yeah. There's outdoor seating. Yeah, and there's lots of outdoor, just cold right now. So, we're gonna go home and enjoy wine there.